hackers the internet's cyber most terrorists. popular providers to target U.S. Associated with anonymous. In my opinion, hacker is a good word. A hacktivist is someone trying to use computers for the social good. There's a heuristic thought to hacking. There's a scientific curiosity. You know, a lot of people will screw around in corporate systems, and the government has cracked down on them significantly, and in some cases has taken the view that hackers are domestic terrorists. It occurred to me, like, you know, at some point the FBI is going to catch up with these folks, and at some point someone's going to need a lawyer. We are anonymous. Hey, buddy. We gotta get dressed right now to go to Taekwondo. Let's go. My name is Jay Luderman, and as far as law goes, I tend to concentrate on computer crime and on medical marijuana cases. It speaks to me in terms of personal liberty. My background is in the liberal arts. I wasn't a tech guy, you know, I, I knew how to point and click. The Computer Fraud and Abuse Act is an anti-hacking statute enacted in 1984 which happened to be the year after the movie War Games came out. You had to take a phone, put it on a modem, dial it up, it made all those horrible sounds, and you went to a specific computer system. What you have with the CFAA is a horse and buggy law in a jet plane society. It no longer fits, and it is the same law. It is so broad that almost all computer conduct could be prosecuted under the CFAA. For example, if you're at work and you're in a March Madness tournament and that's against your terms, you could hypothetically be prosecuted, and that is terrifying. I started out as a lawyer in the public defender's office here in Ventura. Over and above the cases I was assigned, I was always looking for, I guess you can call it cause work something that was bigger than just one person, one case. Back in late 2010, there was a banking blockade against WikiLeaks. Assange had published a number of those state cables in the collateral murder video. PayPal, MasterCard, Visa have stopped consumers from making donations to WikiLeaks. There were a number of issues with activists that ultimately ended up in what's called a DDoS, a distributed denial of service. 14 so-called computer hacktivists overwhelmed PayPal's online services and temporarily knocked the company offline. It was a digital protest, and that was really interesting to me. I floated these tweets out there that, you know, any righteous activists busted in my hood, I'll represent for free. And I had some emails in my inbox, and one of them was from a person claiming to be Commander X. Commander X. He says that Anonymous may very well be the most powerful organization on Earth. It was soon thereafter that I, I met him in person. This is uh, the Anonymous flag. Keep uh, some solidarity with my clients. X decided I was the lawyer for Anonymous. All of a sudden, I was rolling in hacktivism cases, and now I hear I may have represented more hacktivists than anyone. You know, I have to take measures to protect myself and to protect my clients. It's mostly the FBI who is interested in me because of who I talk to. Okay, why do I have three phones? I have clients that have big problems. I have clients that I need to have discussions with that I need the government not to know about. So I got this phone. It's fully encrypted, just uncrackable as of right now. iPhones can be turned on remotely even when they're off. So if you take these and you put them in the Faraday bag, should be okay. I take the precautions I can. I really wanna make sure that I follow the top state bar rule, which is maintain your client's confidences inviolate. So real or imagined, this is part of my life. There are lots of definitions of what a hacker is. There are white hat hackers that do security work. There are black hat hackers, like the credit card thieves. And then there are gray hats that are political, that are trying to make statements. And those are the ones that I represent. I don't know how to code. I don't speak those languages. But what I do know is that code 
is a language. And that's the way I went into this. I went into this as a lawyer. Defense attorneys have never been popular, and I recognized that when I went in. Many people don't see us as valuable, and they don't see our clients sometimes as either worthy of a defense attorney. But defense attorneys are the last line for liberty. If our line cracks, there is nothing that stops the government from putting anyone in jail that they feel like it. So whatever you think about what we do as defense attorneys, we're not just protecting our clients, we're protecting your rights.